Hey guys, and welcome to episode 6 of my Iron Man challenge, and today we are doing Dragon Slayer. And right now I'm just flinching the Lesser Demon, because honestly I don't think I could tank him. But we don't have 43 praise, so I think Elvark's going to be a little bit of a challenge. But I actually got a few good tips from one of my friends in Iron Foe's clan chat. And uh, we're going to go buy some food that heals 16 HP, so that's going to help out a lot. Alright, so the food that he was talking about was pre-made chocolate bombs, and you can buy them at Gnome Stronghold, and they sell three at a time, so you have to hop around a couple times. And they cost 150 each, to, and it goes up to 160, but hey, you know what? It heals 16. It's totally worth it. So now let's go and try to kill Elvarg, because uh, we have a ship, and we're about to get a captain. So let's go own him. Time to die, Olvar. You're going down. You're going down today. I thought it would be a lot harder than this, but uh, obviously I was wrong. <laughs> but there we go, he's dead. Sweet. Now let's cut off his head. Yeah, let's take his head. Alright. Off to Drainer. There we go, a Dragon Slayer completed. I've rewarded two quest points. 18.6k strength XP, 18.6k defense, so I got 42 defense, pretty much level 43, 46 strength, everything is going good, I can wear rune now, I can wear rune plate body, oh man, it's awesome, how much is this? And we got 56 combat, so we jumped up two, so that's pretty cool, oh, green D high body, I completely forgot about that. Oh man, I'll buy that now. But we gotta get 84k for the rune plate body. And I think it's 70k for the rune plate skirt. So yeah, let's go and start getting ready for that. While I was in a questing mood, I decided to go ahead and do Merlin's crystal. And I'm about to do... What's it called? Hmm. Shield of Arov, and then after that, I'm gonna do my part for heroes with this guy, so I won't have to find someone else later on. And then we'll be good for heroes once we get the requirements. But we got six quest points, so we're at 56 right now. Really good, moving up in the world. Now let's go and do this quest. Quest completed, one quest points is 600 coins, pretty cool. Now let's go do that part of heroes, and then we'll be done with it. Alright, here we go. About to trade my friend the two candlesticks. Well, you really only need one, but I got another one just in case. So, here we go. Giving him two of those. Please take the beads out. Alright. Sweet deal. Now we got heroes pretty much sorted out. So, now that I got the heroes part done that I need, that's the only quest I can trade in, including Shield of Arav, which you needed for that quest. So now that that's over with, I will never trade anyone ever again. And just so you know, that was not breaking the rules. I had to have it for the quest, and so I did it. And now, to make money for my rune plate, my rune legs, and my berserker helmet, I have to go and do a still plate body run. This time I'm going to do a little different. My friend told me that it's actually better to alk instead. Well, I just remember I don't have the alking level. Um, awkward. So, it turns out I want to do it the normal way and bank it. And <laughs> so, there you go. Alright, so I collected 108 plate bodies. Probably took me 30 minutes. So now we're going to go ahead and alk them by using Wizard Mind Bomb. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to relog so I don't lose the boost. Because every time you relog, it resets the one minute timer. So I'm going to do that and we'll end up with uh, probably around 120k. Somewhere like that. And then we can buy our full rune armor. 130k from all those play bodies. I'm a little short from 130k, but that's okay. And uh, now we're going to go buy our rune plate body. And then we're also going to buy rune plate skirt or legs. I'm not sure yet which, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with the skirt just because it weighs less. So I won't have to worry about my KG. So let's go ahead and trade this guy. And, oh, 84k. Oh my god, I really hope I have enough. I have a little bit of extra money in the bank. 
uh, like 20k or so. So we'll find out. Okay, they do not have room play legs in the shop, so uh, they they were more expensive anyway. So I want to get me a room plate skirt for 64k. Just had enough. 3k left over. Really don't like that cash stack. I, I want to get it higher, but for now we're just gonna put this on. It looks so damn good. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, we're making progress. Completed my 13th task in a row, gained 4 points, and now we're going to go ahead and get another one. But before I do this task, it's, oh my god, yes, it's 114 ogres, so that is great range XP. And I get big bones from it, so it works out pretty good. But now, I'm out of food, so I'm going to go to the Roger's Den and cook up the rest of my food. Hey guys, just got 53 cooking, which is really good because that means I have all the requirements for heroes except for 50 mining. I will still need to get 50 mining, but I don't think that'll take too long. Even though I will be banking all the wars, so it'll probably take me a good day. But uh, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Update on the fish. I have 255 left to cook, but I have 514 already cooked, 800 trout. So we're going to be good on food for a while. I did not get to record it, but I got 40 Slayer, which means I can kill Bloodveld. And that's pretty good because they're an okay money task. I can get Rune Meds and Alcum for, I think it's 7k. Which will add up over time because you'll probably get two tasks. So it'll be an okay money maker. But yeah, 40 and Slayer. Completed our 14th task in a row, was rewarded with 4 points like always, and now we're getting a new one. Oh shit. 107 crocodiles. 107 crocodiles, you've got to be shitting me. Oh, I need the points. Oh man, I don't, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna go quest for now, I guess. Oh god, I just died. I wonder if I can get back for my uh, amulet of accuracy. I doubt it, but I just lost a bunch of shit. That kind of sucks, to be honest. Oh well. Oh, I couldn't make it back for the amulet. And I ended up dying again. But, uh... Fuck, what all did I lose? Helm boots, which isn't really too important. I have as a tractor. I need to go get that right now. Um, anything else? Like, 400 bronze arrows? So that's death number one of the series. So, I mean, it could have been worse. I could have lost some of my dehyde. But yeah, let's go and rebuy some stuff. I lost my amulet accuracy. I cannot get that back. So I have to either train crafting to get a strength in me or do something else. I don't know. But, uh, let's go do something. Clue number one. Two air staffs, studded chaps, and a black dagger. Not too bad. Even though that one did take me quite a while to get, but let's go ahead and go get another one. We also got 32 thieving. Clue number two, six salmon. That's okay. Staff of air. Black battle axe. And a willow longbow. Alright, I want to end the episode here. And, uh, well, before I do, I'm actually going to go ahead and trade in these rusty swords. Oh, well, it's a hundred each. Uh, really hope I make profit. Um, <laughs> not doing so good so far. But I'm pretty sure that you can get a rune sword from this. But it's not looking very good right now. This is my cash stack too, so I hope I'm not wasting it all. I'm spending 1.3k on these, so hopefully I'll make a profit. Anything good so far? Uh, one black. That's alright, I guess. Keep on going. Oh, two black. Where am I going? Stop! 
Oh man, what a bad way to end the episode. But uh, next episode probably won't be out for a little bit because I'm churning woodcutting and stuff now. So yeah, I'm going to go and sell these. Okay, so I lost... Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, I lost 16 GP, but oh well. So now I'm going to go train with cutting and fletching, so thank you guys for watching. You can click here for last episode in the, in the description. Also, you can click for episode 1 in the description if you've missed that.